we have this TOS version uh, record structure that's available in Delphi and C++. And here we can get the, the version of the operating system we're running on. We can get the architecture of the chip that we're running on, uh, what platform, the build, major, minor version number. We just get it from the, from the structure. We can get the service pack. And the last thing I do is, is look at uh, what platform it's running on. And I look at, I get the size of a, of a pointer to tell me that I'm running on 32-bit Windows or 32-bit Macintosh or 64-bit Windows and so on. So let's run this one in 64-bit Windows. It's a Delphi application. And uh, it just gives me information. So I can use that TOS version structure in Delphi and C++ to, to do special things on different platforms. Now let's go and run it on Macintosh. So let's go and run this on Macintosh. And we'll use the OS version to see the information. So here I can dump out the OS version information. I'm running on OS 10.6.8, uh, Snow Leopard. Uh, and then uh, uh, the name of the operating system. I'm running on a 64-bit Intel processor. I uh, compiled this for Mac 32. And let's enable 32-bit Windows and hit Run. And again, it'll tell me that I'm on 32-bit Windows. Compiled for 32-bit, still running on 64-bit architecture. Here's a C++ example that uses TOS version to get us the same platform information that we can use in our C++ application. Here we can use TOS version structure to get the operating system string that we're working on. We can also display the build, major, minor version numbers. We can get the service pack information. We can also use the TOS version architecture to get the version of the processor that we're working on, whether it's an Intel 32-bit or 64-bit processor. We can also use the platform information to dispatch different code at runtime. Let's see it in action. Here we see the output that it's running on Windows 7 Service Pack 1. We see the architecture is running on a 64-bit Intel processor. We've got the build major minor version number 6.1 and Service Pack 1. And then we have the fact that this is compiled for 32-bit Windows as the target platform for the application executable. Now, if we look down at the code that's specific to the platform, uh, we're going to take the size of a pointer and multiply it by 8 to get the 32-bit or 64-bit version that we might have. In the case of C++ Builder, it's 32-bit. This pointer is a pointer to an integer. So on each platform, we'll calculate uh, the, the version of the platform target that we compiled for. Let's compile for, for Macintosh OS X. And now we have the same application running on Macintosh. We'll get the OS version information and display that it's running on Mac OS X, uh, version 10.6.8, which is Snow Leopard. I haven't upgraded to Lion or tested Mountain Lion yet. And we've got the service pack version. And we also see that it's compiled for 32-bit OS X. So there's an example of using OS version in a C++ builder application.